Hello, and uh, welcome to Real Person Reviews. I'm Sam, and I'm a real person. And uh, today I want to talk to you about Portal 2. Now, you're probably wondering, why did I pick this angle for the shot? I really just didn't want to move my setup for that. And it's a nice little stand for it, so whatever. I guess that's just something <laughs> real people do. Or at least me. Um... Anyway, um, you may remember also I already reviewed Portal at this point, so if you haven't seen the review I did of Portal, the first one, um, I mean, I would say check that out. I'm going to kind of go through this, assuming you've either already checked that out or more likely you've just already played the first Portal, if not also this one as well. So I'm kind of going off that basis. I'm going to try to avoid some spoiler stuff as much as you know I can. But some of the things kind of have to be told, and it's just, it's going to be easier if you go into this being like, I played the first one, because the first one exists. But, um, there'll be a written review if you'd rather that. That might be better. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what everybody feels like. But, yeah, this was, uh, uh, uh Portal 2. Also, I, I, I played this on my Steam Deck here, um, in handheld mode the whole time, just like the first one. So, um, yeah, I, uh. I kind of forgot that I was going to do, I didn't do the whole same unveiling thing. But I'm over here, and I'm going to now have to, even though you can't see me for the rest of this, well, gameplay plays, you'll have to just deal with me, well, being on the floor. I'll have to deal with me kneeling the whole time. That'll be fun for everyone, but mostly everyone that's not me. So Portal 2, uh, for whatever reason, you somehow end up uh, in this uh, Aperture Science Testing Facility Enrichment Center, whatever the fuck bullshit again. I don't know how you got back there. That's not really explained. But, um... You're, you're there. A new robot thing kind of, you know, finds you. And uh, he's kind of trying to guide you to try to escape. But uh, you end up, uh, in, in your request to escape together, you end up going through this chamber where... Um, uh, GLaDOS is, and GLaDOS wakes up, and, uh, wouldn't you know, she's not terribly happy with you killing her in the last game. That was, uh, you know, not something that you guys, I guess, I don't know, she holds a grudge, I guess. I mean, it happened a whole game ago, you know, let it go. But, um, so, then, uh, she throws you back in to do more testing, uh, and, uh, is much more mean this time around as well. Uh, while your friend uh, is actually kind of going around in the background between chambers and things and is trying to help you escape still. Uh, eventually, you actually get the, to the point where you end up being able to eject GLaDOS from the, uh, controlling the whole, you know, the whole laboratory, the whole place, the whole facility, let's call it. And uh, you put this other robot dude in charge. I don't know if they say his name in there or not, if I missed it. I don't know. Anyways, he gets in charge, and um, then he just kind of goes mad with power and decides, instead of letting you go, uh, what he does is he uh, installs GLaDOS into a potato, uh, and then thrusts both of you down uh, this elevator, and then um, essentially you and Potato GLaDOS end up being on the mission to more or less try and uh, get him out of power uh, while, you know... Basically, kind of working together to do that because if you don't, the factory will explode. And that's a bit of a spoilery thing, I guess, for story thing. But there's a lot more into there in other lore and depth and things that you'll find along the way. That's just kind of the basic premise of what's going on here to get you into the puzzles. Uh, the puzzles themselves, again, are using the portals like you'd expect. Um, and those work pretty much the same way. Um, but now there are more elements being tossed in the mix along with most of the other elements that already existed. I think um, only one element is missing, and that's the shooting energy balls into energy ball collector thingies. I think that one's gone, but the rest of the things still exist. And they've added new things. Things like um, uh, there are these hard light bridges that uh, create these, these solid walls of light. Kind of like force field things that will block stuff. They will... Uh, you can walk on them. They have launch pads you can launch off of um, into things. 
Um, they've got three different kinds of gels. There's a, a gel that makes you jump really high. There's a gel that makes you accelerate really fast when you're running across it. And there's a gel that um, will make a, a surface portable if it gets on it. Um, so that's uh, those. And I'm trying to think if I'm missing... Oh, and there's also light things where um, there are beams of, like, like, laser beams, basically. And then these, like, cubes that can redirect those laser beams to different angles they couldn't go to before. Um, those are, I believe, the, the core, um, the main core changes that are, of things that are added on top of all of the other things you already kind of did before with some of the momentum stuff and whatnot, and putting, you know, pushing buttons, putting pressure points, you know, boxes on pressure points, that kind of thing, that's all still here. Um, and it's once again, basically just trying to solve a series of puzzles in order to get to the end, and, uh. This time, not so much with the promise of uh, cake, but rather with the promise of escape. Um, and uh, I will say that uh, on the plus side, Portal 2 is a much better game. Um, they've fixed the little finicky bits of, like, you know, trying to go through a portal. It's a lot easier to go through a portal now. It's harder to get out of kilter when you have to keep going through portals multiple times and aim around and stuff. It's good at doing that now. Um, and there... Oh, I also meant forgot to mention there's also these like anti-grav things that will like you can shoot these areas and you'll just kind of like slowly be hovering around on the the cones of anti-gravity or whatever that i don't remember what exactly they call it that's also in here um but uh yeah all of these um that little change there is really nice it's easier to like put portals you know where you want them to go and to get through them it's much easier to do that and in, in any like there's not as many things that are based on momentum but things that are based on it are easier to do because it's just easier to go through your portals. Um, and there are, a, there are a ton more, you know, test chambers here. There's a ton more puzzles to solve in here. It's a much bigger game in general, so it's just more to enjoy with more mechanics. So there's more ways to try and solve things. There's more things to think about. Um, and actually, I really like that in a lot of the levels, you have to actually, like, you'll use some exploration. It's not like you just go into a room, look at everything, like, how do I solve it? There are sometimes when you go in, you have to basically solve part to see the next part of the puzzle and use parts from different ends of the room and things you can see to try and solve the entire puzzle. Uh, so I think that's really interesting that it kind of adds a bit of like exploration and really uses the whole like 3D space going around to different places to do that. That's really neat. Um, and just the way these different elements combine with one another but still all have to use the portals is very good. They still did a very, very good job of making sure that using portals was the main thing you were... You were everything still revolves around it's not like oh this only revolves around using this element or that element it's still about like you know to solve this you will have to use your portal still in order to use these other elements and take advantage of all of the you know the tools at your disposal to uh solve the problems um so um I, yeah i think it's very very well designed um it's got some good uh very good voice acting and writing in it uh, a lot of a lot of funny stuff a lot of good character in there even though there's not like not really like, tons of characters to listen to uh it's uh it's done very well um and there's also I, i'll admit that there's a few things that i i um well there's a few things let's just get into it now okay because i've already i mean i'm seeing the praises of this I don't think anybody's going to be too surprised. Portal 2 is awesome. I think everybody's going to kind of say that. It's very good. More puzzles. It's just more game to play, and it's all good, and it's very well built together. I think it's very, very fun, and uh, really makes you feel like you're kind of on a bit of an adventure while solving these puzzles and getting some interesting lore and other stuff in the, you know, in the side stuff. So it still doesn't feel like you're just going from room to room and, and just, you know, doing whatever levels. It still kind of feels like something's kind of progressing and building as you do it. So it keeps you somewhat invested, even though I'd probably still like it, even if it was just do room after room and that was it. I, I probably would still enjoy it. Um, so downsides, and there aren't too many, like I mentioned. There aren't a whole lot of downsides to this. I think, um, other than, you know, like not bringing back the all of the mechanics, that one mechanic is missing, the shooting energy things to the energy collector things, that's gone. But um, I... Uh, I will say a few of the rooms do feel a little gimmicky in that, like, mostly it's that, like, they, they have stuff like the hard light bridge things, whatever. They use that a bit, but I feel like that's only used kind of in, like, one section, and they kind of quit. Um, once the gels are introduced, I guess they do kind of keep using those. So that's interesting. But um, 
I feel like, yeah, some mechanics kind of get introduced and they use them very heavily. Obviously, just so you know how to use them, but there are a few rooms that do kind of feel like, hey, this is the thing you're doing, and then it's, like, maybe going to be used sometimes later, but some puzzles don't use them. Not saying every puzzle needs to use every single element that gets introduced, but um, some, some of them feel like they weren't used quite as much as others, and that was a little bit noticeable. Um, and uh, I, I think that, like... Um, it's, uh, again, like, most of it's pretty good. It's hard to find anything to really, like, say that's, like, too bad about this game. Uh, I think one of the few things is that, uh, the credit song isn't as good as the credit song in the first one. That's a matter of taste. I understand that. I just, I think that's the, I don't think it's just the, the impact of it. Just, like, I think in general, I just, I just liked the song in the first one better. That's maybe about the only thing from the first game I liked better. Um, and... I don't know, like I said, there's, there's not really a lot really to, to nitpick about here or say anything about, so it, it, it's it's still, like, really, really good. I think, like, again, like, the, the action sections are kind of a little clunky still. They're less clunky, but there are still a few kind of more action-y things you have to do, and they do a good job of mitigating what you do for those or how much action you actually have to do for them, but in the few sections where you need to do them, it is still evident that it's like, okay, they, they didn't really fix this. Like, they didn't, they didn't take this out entirely, and they didn't make it totally enjoyable to do, but they did try to, like, cut it way down. It's just, like, some of these ideas, I guess, were really cool to do, so, yeah, okay. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science and Silent Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. And that's not all. But it is all that I played. There's uh, co-op missions, which I don't really have anybody to play it with because most people that would want to play this with me, I think, have already played the game, so they wouldn't really... They feel like they're just solving all these puzzles again uh, for me, and I don't know. So that's kind of the, the downside to playing the Portal games long after they've been out. Um, and uh, there's also community stuff that you can play. Um, you can make your own levels. Even the level editor, so you yourself can make things. Uh, so you can go to the work, you know, the Steam Workshop and get uh, custom levels and stuff. And that sounds crazy to have, like, a ton more to play. And at some point, I might try some of that. But I didn't for this. I kind of wanted to just look at what, you know, what Valve made in their game. Um, and I just, um, I, uh, I, I didn't, yeah. I, uh, to be fair, I was going to get some on my Steam Deck, but it doesn't seem like it's integrated well enough with the Steam Workshop yet on the Steam Deck. So game works steam workshop stuff i don't know they're probably still working on that i could just go on to like you know a desktop mode or i could probably get out of the game and get it that way or something there's probably ways around it like get it to work because i don't really feel like doing it right now um i wanted to keep it you know a nice steam deck thing to play and um yeah so if you liked portal you will love portal 2 uh it's a lot more content and it's more mechanics that are built around portals still, and it's just it's more puzzles. It's 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 fun. You will also like this, and um, of course there's a bunch of like there's like probably like fan mods and other stuff you can get. There's probably way way more stuff outside of what I know about, but uh, yeah, this um this is great, and I, I I've been seeing these. I think right now as I'm recording this is I've seen this on sale for like um a dollar, <laughs> so I've been seeing both Portal and Portal Two going on sale for a dollar. You can get it cheap if you don't already have it and you want it. It's it's a great game. I think you should get it. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> it's a what's more to say? It's Portal Two. It's fun. You should get it. It's worth getting if you haven't already got it. If you're somehow further behind the times than I am, or just you know maybe you're just not a big PC player. Maybe you're young. I don't know. But um, yeah. Whatever platform you want to get Portal Two on, or Portal, or both, they're they're gonna be fun. They're gonna be good. You're gonna you're gonna like them. If you like if you like first person shooters, you like puzzle games. I think you're gonna like it. That's uh, <laughs> that's all I got. All right, well, another awkward zoom into here. But uh, I used a mic this time, so hopefully, audio is cool. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. 